Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here's a Denny Trio. Uh, Survivor and Zombie Set. This is really cool. The commercials that came out for this were hilarious. You're going to get some cards here, so let's see what we get. We get Trio himself. You win the following. Uh, it's on the board. One extra activation. Uh, turns into a Trio. It's like an abomination. Pretty funny stuff here. Uh, and then you got the Rush. Uh, one extra activation. Turns into one of him. Or spawn a walker. So that's pretty cool that you have these cards. And these are all individually numbered, so you can get them in and out of the game. And I do, I really like the artwork here in the second edition. I think it looks fantastic. You're also gonna get this little rule book here. It tells you the trio set rules and time of the magical horrors. That's right, you're gonna have him in the game. So the survivor rolls extra dice in the melee action performance as machetes. The extra die mount scales with survivor's danger level. So for each level that he has here, so blue, you get one extra dice, all the way up to red, you're gonna get four. Then you have his zombie cards that you would have here and kind of how they work. Very easy to digest. Here's going to be his card. If you want to play as him, you can see double-sided here. So you're going to have Danny Trio, which is him, an action, a barbarian, a bloodlust, free combat action, plus one to melee actions, and a shove. You put him over, you find out you roll extra dice with him. So he's going to be a little bit more powerful than some of the other ones. The extra dice amount scale. So that's what we went over with the extra one here, right on the back of the card that you're going to have. And who does not want to be him? It's actually him, not a parody. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. So you're going to get the three miniatures that will come with it. Here will be Danny himself. And of course, he has machetes with him. Here is the zombie version. And then you have him when he turns into an abomination. Look at all that. Oh, look at the swords going into him. All those machetes into him. This is a beautiful sculpt right here. This one's really, really, really good. This is a really fun set. So if you like Danny Trio, you like Shete, you like any of this, it's going to be a very good set. It's the first one I've seen with an actual person kind of signed off on. You can see his uh, faux autograph right here. And it's really neat how he kind of comes in and, you know, it almost reminds me of Zombieland when they brought in Bill Murray. You know, it's an actual guy and you meet him and, and you can play as him and he turns into these zombies and abomination versions of himself. Excellent pickup. I like stuff like this on how much they paid for this, but this is really cool that they were having this in and get away from the parodies and kind of actually put the actual person in. Uh, you know, if you want this, it got some extra rules involved. It's a very powerful character. I like adding him in quite a bit. Two thumbs up. Excellent set. Check this one out and track it down.